<coughs> David, thank you for your comments on 18C and the court decision. I'm sure Jerry will give you five paws, mate. Oh, you got a camera, right. Are you the 12 o'clock plane? Yeah. I'll see you there. Tom, yeah. do, you, do you think there's any place in the world that's that's uh, safer now uh, after uh, eight years of smart diplomacy with uh, with Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton? And uh... Well, they've tried to redefine America's role after uh, the overstretch of the Bush years. Yes. But look, I think on some issues like Russia and uh, Syria, Hillary is a very dangerous <laughs> I mean, Trump is not my guy, but he makes more sense on Russia. <laughs> Mate, uh, I, I well remember the Russian reset and uh, how well that's worked out for the Ukraine and for uh, Syria. Well, mate, I think for what it's worth, and this is a minority view in Australia, my view is that um, the problems go back to the 1990s when Bill Clinton expanded NATO into Eastern Europe. And that upset the sensibilities of the Russians. And then you had this crazy idea of the Americans supporting um, coups against uh, democratically elected pro-Russian governments in Ukraine, like uh, Kiev in Fe February 2014. Uh, who, could rem who could forget uh, Victoria Newland, was it? Uh, tell, right. the, uh, tell the EU to go and get stuffed? Well, not only that, she was handing out pastries to all the protesters. <laughs> now, think of it like this. Imagine how Washington would feel if Russian diplomats were handing out tacos to anti-American uh, Mate, where, where do you want to go? I, I, okay, I, I live around the corner. Yeah, just imagine how the, and this is not my view, just my view, this is a, held, a view held by a lot of prominent realist uh, thinkers in America. Yep. But how would Washington feel if, if the Russians or the Chinese were aiding and abetting uh, anti-American forces in Latin America or in Mexico and even helping bring down uh, a democratically elected pro-American government. Uh, of course, uh, uh, but this is uh, real politic, I guess, in the uh, well, I don't know. modern is it era. Is in America's national interest to get to, to, to commit American troops to a part of the world where, where uh, no army's ever fought? I don't see that's real politics. It seems uh, like crazy unilateral idealism. Um, Mate, uh, do you think that Hillary uh, is dishonest? This is, this is your opinion, not... Uh... Well, I mean, I think there's a widespread perception that she's untrustworthy, and that, that, that perception has been a merit to it. Mate, I could see a I, career I, in politics for you. Me? No, no, no. <laughs> I, I just think that she must have known she should not use a private email server. Absolutely. And she must have also known that she was using classified material that could be hacked and moreover she was stonewalling investigators uh, and she deleted some of the evidence uh, mate, that's, that's uh, she, she uh, told the uh, the reporter uh, when he asked if she had um, uh, wiped the server she said what with a cloth yeah. uh, and uh, meanwhile her minions are uh, beating them up with hammers I still and think though that you know, I, I said this on the Insiders program, she's a very unpopular, untrustworthy, polarising figure, but yes, he's yes. arguably more... Uh, look, uh, I don't disagree with yeah. that. So that's one of the reasons why I think she'll probably get up, but I have to confess, it is exceedingly tight. <laughs> and if the election keeps getting... I mean, no one's talking about Trump's rude comments about women, are they? Uh, <laughs> completely off the agenda. <laughs> well... Well, uh, look, there, there's an interesting cartoon. Just realised if Hillary wins, <laughs> I get... <laughs> well, you know, when my girls are very naughty, I put on a Bill Clinton mask. I'm I'm Tom, go. thanks a lot, mate. Bye.